Hey, what's up guys? Brad Phillips here. I got Liz in the crate with me today. Uh, going to be doing a partial demonstration for you. Uh, we're not going to be explaining everything as well as the stuff that I generally talk about for a little bit. I'm not going to. I'm just going to walk through everything that I can show you. Uh, if you want more detail or you need more detail, go back and watch one of our other demos. Uh, for you guys, I mean, you got Bosco, Chewy, and everything you can pick from the three. Uh, but for Blizzard, I'm just going to walk through and show you. So first things first, coming out of the gate, uh, any time it goes through the crate door, and the gate, and the kennel, or closed house door, any of that I expect to stay. It should be an automatic behavior. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, then any time that he greets me, I expect to sit and greet. So expect that. I mean, we work a lot on jumping. Sometimes he still rears up out here like that, but he's never allowed to put his paws on me. Uh, even if he gets close, I'll still bring that knee up and I'll tell him off. That's just a blow. Uh, but do not let him jump. Uh, that's absolute no-go. Uh, he knows this. He knows that he's not allowed to jump up on me or another person or up on furniture. Uh, but sometimes he just gets excited and he kind of hops out and about. So, you can start to really crack down on that too if you don't like that behavior, but more so that's somewhat his personality. He is super excited to see it. He's a very affectionate dog, loves interaction from you. Uh, and the nice thing is, is that excitedly being is pretty well gone. Uh, he hasn't done it for me in the last few weeks. He hasn't done it for any of my trainers either. But where now he's gonna go to your home, so it's a little bit of a stressful change. He may do it a time or two. Just make sure that you're patient. You don't reprimand him for that because there's nothing he can do. You just gotta let him get comfortable with his environment and then it should just dissipate again. I think more than anything, he's just outgrown it. He's got a little bit more strength, more bladder control. So, yes, yes, yes. Now, Malvin, uh, sometimes he likes to put his mouth on me because he gets so excited. That's another one of the big ones that we've been working on. So absolutely do not let him get away with that. If he does, I grab his muscle, I tell him no, and I withdraw myself for a second. Then I can pet him again. If he does it again, then I tell him no again, grab that muzzle, and now I'm done for a little while. I'm giving him a timeout for me because he's not biting, uh, he's not actually biting me. He just gets so excited and he likes to lick it, but then he forgets that he has teeth and he opens his mouth and kind of grins it across your arm, which he cannot do. So, uh, one of the other things I want to talk about is Blizzard is, like I said, he's super affectionate, but he is still a little bit of a cautious dog, especially with really loud or new sounds or new people. So be patient with that. Don't stress him out too much. Focus on building a bond with him. When you do encounter like this uncomfortable or nervous situation, just focus on engaging with him. I can just, Blizzard, come here. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. And I make it so that I'm so excited. Sometimes I'll even get him to sit. And I was, okay, good boy. Okay, good boy. And I'm making it, I'm making an environment where he's so focused on me and it's so positive that this, uh, what could be a negative experience can become background noise. So we call that engagement. Good boy, good boy. So, um, our other manners, so anytime I feed him, I expect him to hold sit stay. This should be automatic. If he doesn't immediately sit, oh, there you go, I'll step into it. Then I'll just put his food right out. I don't have to ask him to stay uh, unless he continued to break. Then I would. He loves to drool when you make him do this, so he's just pouring drool right now. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Huh. You can eat. Very used to me handling him when he eats. It's not his favorite thing because then I usually take his food bowl away, but he's very comfortable with me handling him around his food. Should be no sort of aggression. Good boy. We also just handle him in general. His ears, his paws, petting him, just carrying him, holding him awkwardly because this is how my kids hold their dogs. I want to make sure that he's not going to get aggressive at all.
doesn't love to play, he usually will take the lamb over to his rug. <coughs> he loves that rug. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, I 
Uh, so career training, he's been awesome, sleeping through the night, no problems at all. We've been putting him in bed at 10, he gets up about 6, so sleeping 8 hours, no breaks, no accidents. Uh, the first night he may need a break just because of that stress, so not a bad idea to give him one part way through the night. Uh, he's also been good for 4 hours, pretty easy during the day, so you need to lock him up while you run to work or run errands, no problems there either. House training, he's been solid for the last month. I feel like he's just been doing super well. He knows the bells. Uh, he knows where they're at, what they need, but you are going to need to target those when you get home. Uh, once again, if you need a visual reminder on how to do that, just go check out Ruthie's demo, but he's been doing super, super well with all the house training. And then the leash training. So I'm going to kind of pause the camera and scooty back. I'd like to show you it here first. Oh, yeah, I'll lift my hands. And I'll kind of show you that leash walk, but we have been walking him by our side. Loose leash. I am expecting him that he stays by my side. He's not pulling and he's not distracted with everything around. So give me one second, I'll pause this camera. Alright, when I started this walk, I just oh, it is focused here and I'm going to tell him so. Blizzard does have a little bit of a quick pace, so sometimes it's almost hard to keep up with him. That's why I really expect him to be focused here, so I'm not having to correct him all the time. Instead, if I can keep his focus, I can slow down that pace. Let's go. 